way that I see it is that like everything has a life. I mean, look at everything is living here. You know, we respect everything and it's just the way we live. The way our culture is preserved is through our grandparents and through our grandparents that have this knowledge, they're giving it to the next generation and it's up to the next generation to accept it and they have to be willingly accepting this part of life. We're using modern technology to help pass on our stories to the next upcoming generation. Anthony Johnson What I just said is that my Klinkit name is Shuga Ish and my English name is Anthony Johnson. I am an eagle from the Kogwantan clan. I am the child of the Duck Dantan clan and I am the grandchild of the Kogwantan. Thank you for listening to me. Every culture on the face of the planet has a storytelling tradition, has stories to tell, has stories to share. What better way to hook kids into storytelling than giving them a camera? They're already Instagramming, they're already TikToking, they're already YouTubing. It's an easy pitch. The quality of a camera, you know, having the quality of today's new technology is just outstanding. The way that it helps spread the word around the world, you know. It is of vital importance that our younger people keep on with the education. They can come back to our community and make it better than what it would be today. From what I'm hoping it is that it inspires others to take their time and participation into this subject to learn more about our ancestors and how they used to live back in the day. How do we engage them to sit at the feet of elders meaningfully? So I think the camera is the trick. And also, the product lives on. Marie and Seth, they involved every single student with the whole entire program and they showed the students how to run the cameras and how to run the mic, the mic pole. And I think storytelling is a simple way to approach healing. When you have the power of your own story, you get to heal. Your community gets to heal through that. It's so important for for a younger generation to learn the culture. Right now. Being Clinket, you know, you're a part of everything. You're a part of the land, you're a part of your people, you're a part of just the society that we have today. To be a Clinket, you have your preservation of your culture and you are able to carry on what you were taught. Action. So this is a shakia. And when you're dancing... Here in Angoon, they are working on building a visitor center. Groundbreaking is next summer. And they are looking for local content to share the stories of the community. And so they were really excited and now they're working with us to get the students to create films that will go in the, the visitor center. I get pretty emotional watching the process because um, even when it's clunky, even when it's hard, actually especially when it's clunky and especially when it's hard, just watching the light bulb turn on, seeing it come together at the end where they have a film and they've created it and they're proud of it. So that's just a real treat for me. I just hope that Angoon stays strong and that our culture never dies and we succeed in passing it on to our next generation.